good morning everyone from from Belfast and today we are going to the Titanic and the Game of Thrones studio too so we are here at uh, at our hostel and uh, we are calling a taxi uh, it will it is just uh, five to ten minutes from here so we are going to uh, Titanic and then we have to rush from there as well because we have to catch a, a bus the public transport because the Game of Thrones studio is almost 30 minutes drive uh, in own car so yeah we'll have we'll have to travel a lot today like yesterday as well we were all tired we only had four to five hours of sleep and today in the morning we booked up and then we have to get ready because i booked this lot for the early morning because the timing for the game of thrones studio is 1 30 and we'll be getting free around 11 11 15 from the titanic museum so the bus from the uh, city center there's a stop called as uh, Europa bus center or something like that. So from there we have to take a bus which is at 11.45. It will take around one hour and then from there we will have to walk for around 15 to 20 minutes for the Bollywood where the actual uh, Game of Thrones studio is. Earlier uh, we miscalculated everything because the location which we searched at that time for the Game of Thrones studio was not actually the Game of Thrones studio. It was a uh, uh, or you can see any agency which books the show for the game of thrones studios so yeah we miscalculated everything and yeah so we have to manage anyhow because we have to go back to dublin today our bus is in the evening around 5 30 so we'll have to be very punctual so yeah uh, we are going for titanic now and i'll see you guys over there <laughs> <laughs> oh bro <laughs> see yourself in the vlog bro <laughs> yeah 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 sure can you keep this in the middle <laughs> oh sorry yeah yeah Actual the size of the Titanic, as what people say. The taxi driver with whom we came here, he also said that this is the actual size of the Titanic. So yeah, we are excited about it and hope to get a very good show today, both here at the Titanic and the Game of Thrones studio. We are much more excited about the Game of Thrones. Do we have to go that side or this side? Uh, do we have to go, sorry. Do we have to go that side or this side? This side, this is the entrance here. Okay, okay. thank you. And if you scan your tickets here. Yeah.
Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. It actually works. I thought it was going came in here the day after my 14th birthday. So I went to the town, to the system, to the ship would slide, and the ship would away off the blocks. That was the most dangerous part. And the shipwrights were not in a way the last props. They were under compression, you see, and the sliding ways would be released by the hydraulic trigger. So there are real people beside that. 100,000 people watched the launch. Some paid a ball to sit in the reserve seating. There were extra trams laid on. Then we all went off to the pub to wish her well. Doc, you were proud to be an ailing man that day. And take Tony as the pride of Belfast.
that was a wonderful wonderful experience inside the museum uh, got to know a lot of things about titanic and i mean so now we are heading towards uh, some building which is that side the other side and that's called as nomadic or something we are already getting late we didn't knew that this museum will take that much time but yeah we are pacing up and then we hope to catch the public bus uh, the public transport She was in a very poor condition so. when she came back After to the yeah. And a lot of stuff was stolen. So the portal was Uh, no, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Hi. Uh, we want three tickets for Banbridge. Three? Yeah. Are you returns or just single? Uh, just single. Uh, 
Is there any bus around 4 4:30 from there? Coming back? Yeah. To see if it is there. The bus at 25 to 5. So oh, it will be late then. Uh, okay, no worries. We'll just take one way. So, running and all from the Titanic Museum, we have finally got our tickets uh, uh, for the Banbridge. And Banbridge is the place where, from there, from the bus, uh, the Banbridge bus uh, station, from there we'll have to walk or either we can take ta taxi. So, the distance f uh, from the Banbridge bus stop to the Bollywood is around 2 2.3 miles. So, it will be a long walk. So, we are planning to either take taxi or let's see. Uh, so, we have we are lucky that we have finally got the bus, otherwise, we would have to take the taxi. So we are here at uh, Megdi in the Bollywood and we have done the dinner, we have finished our lunch. So we are heading straight to uh, the, the Game of Thrones studio, the, uh, the place where we are going to get the shuttle the bus is behind me and we are just heading towards the uh, towards that place and yeah, it has been a very hectic day uh, so far, we are, we are, we are, we are just uh, running through the day, since yesterday we are just running. So I don't know and then uh, we are planning to board the air coach from here from the Banbridge but uh, we talked to the customer care agent and then he said that no it's an expressway service and you can't board the bus. Everyone is tired, I'm feeling sleepy, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Hi. Hello there. So, How are you? Um, you want to see it again? Say that again, sorry? No, 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 no. No, you're fine. Um, uh, if you just want to queue up here at the green screen, we'll get your photo. Um, one of the photography team will be around shortly to get your photograph taken there. Yeah. Wow. And then um, I'll ask you to wait in here and I'll let you in whenever we're ready to start. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so we have pictures, bro. Bro, bro, this is the most famous phrase. Arya. Bro, you remember this guy? The most stupid person in Game of Thrones. John Snow. Can you say that once again? Yeah, yeah, see, what's your name? My name is Saurabh. What's your name, bro? Connor. Connor, oh, hi. Nice to meet you. I enjoy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
about the only thing that, that I know of that still exists still rocks. Those costumes yeah. don't exist anymore. They got recycled. And the reason that was was because season one and two, mm. they weren't too sure how big this was going to be. Yeah. And they didn't save a lot of that sort of stuff. It wasn't until just after season three they realised we've hit the big time here. Yeah. And they'd only just killed him off. And they I think what threw you off as well, guys, to be fair, yeah. some of these models aren't actually on this one, supposed to be on this map. So the Silver Wolf, the towers, that red lion there, and the rose that's more like uh, I can't, I can't really say, <laughs> the one furthest away from this. Yeah. Uh, that was originally on this map. The rest of them were on other maps, but they've just put them in there just oh. so you can see them. Yeah. You know those green fields that you saw as you were driving through on the bus? Mm. That's where they did the Lannister camps and the Stark oh. camps as well. And okay. just north of there where they did uh, House of Tully. But the yellow, with yellow and grey tiles? Yes, yes, yes. That's Titanic Studios. Unfortunately, you can't see it. You can't go in by yeah. yourself. It's yeah. Still, they're I mean, actually filming there at the moment. They're filming okay. something. They're That's filming. why it's closed. Yes. Oh. They're, they're filming. Not House of Dragon. Uh, they're filming other productions. Bit of a, <clears throat> bit of a sore subject list for me. So I studied up in England. And I came here for the new one. Five months later, they moved it to England.
my tour of the Game of Thrones studio and it felt so 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 good a lot of things felt so real everything costumes the armory the everything the music and ultimately in the end the the throne yeah the room the background music and the dragons it felt so real all those memories came back it was an amazing experience before coming to the uh, to the game of thrones studio tour it's amazing amazing everyone should come who is coming to ireland or to belfast should come and visit visit the game of thrones studio seriously it's a once in a lifetime experience you will get to see a lot of things those who are a big fan of game of thrones should come at least once and then they should explore this thing i mean this is amazing uh, i'm at the exit point i'm waiting for my friends to come and then outside there is a there's a shop game of thrones studio shop so probably i'll buy some of the souvenirs so we've came outside the game of thrones studio and we were about to leave uh, to the boulevard from the uh, the shuttle bus which we booked with our package but a guy from the game of thrones studio so he helped us he said that uh, we have a coach service uh, which will drop you directly to belfast so they don't have to take the taxi and at the moment it is a really great help because it is thanks thanks man nice thanks man yeah. uh, we are really happy that we came here it was a wonderful experience once in a lifetime experience the the things inside are super super crazy Don't forget to take the photos as well it feels really really good to experience all those things of the game of thrones uh, so uh, finally our tour to belfast is uh, coming to an end we really enjoyed a lot since yesterday we were just walking but coming to game of thrones it all went away we are really excited we are really happy that we came here and yeah so bye from this vlog uh, i hope you guys enjoy this this vlog uh just subscribe to the channel like share as much as you can and then yeah keep supporting bye bye for now take care